Welcome to the series where we break down the map knowledge required for different compounds in Hunt Showdown. Welcome oh. to King Snake Mine. This is the top left hand corner of the cell and it's probably one of the more complex um, complexes. Um, there are multiple pathways in, especially since the mine update um, about six months ago. Um, it's fairly complicated and there's yeah there's there's multiple ways in so we've got the main main complex which is the big red building that is where the boss will be uh, there is only one in this case um place where the boss will be but there are multiple entrances uh and so let's talk about them so this is our probably the the main entrance um big wide open area loads of visibility um, on this area so you're not going to be really wanting to step out on this platform much because there's an awful lot of places to get sniped from um, going around the uh, boardwalk on the uh, or the platform there's our <coughs> back entrance or side entrance um, which leads straight into the boss complex and then as we circle around we've got these stairs here that lead up to a room that's above the complex um, this is not a boss area room, this is just above the boss area, uh, however you do f see people fighting in here a lot. Uh, there's a window that typically people jump into because the door is locked, but obviously that's going to make noise. And then under this little back uh, entrance here is our main metal door. E every boss room has a metal door, so we have to have one somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, keep on circling around, we've got this tunnel that leads into the upper floors um, people like to try and sneak up this tunnel a lot um, it's not very it's not a well-kept secret that people can sneak up there um, people just do it um, so you fully expect people to try and make an entrance using that tunnel so these are the upper rooms upper floors and then yeah we've got this secondary building that is connected to the boss building um, through that tunnel and this I would say is probably where most of the fighting ends up happening just because this is one of those those complexes which there's, it, there's a lot of access but there's not an, an awful lot of like long, long range sites where people are gonna be shooting each other from a long range it's, it's quite a tight complex in a oh. way um, but yeah, down in this building we have um, these locked doors that lead to the mines underneath and we'll, we'll, I'll show you where those mines are. Um, if you, we come around here, and this is the main entrance from the south, you see we went up that path on the right which leads up, but this path on the left leads down. Now this is a newer um, area which is not as well known um, and I have yet to really see anyone fully utilize this area. We have multiple pathways up into the complex from underneath, um, underneath, and you know, for the moment, I would say this is probably one of the best, better ways to get into the complex um, in a potentially slightly more sneaky way. Elevator, I wouldn't take because it's loud. Only if you know you, you know you're fighting people that might be an, one option, but that leads straight into the uh, you know main boss room. Uh, but there are also two other ways up from these mines, which make it a potentially really good way of you know coming up into the boss area. So we've got these big stairs. So if you run up, you've got those. Uh, you've got the uh, glass on the floor, and then you can see this is the main boss area. And then, lastly, we've also got a ladder here. So if you're using Lightfoot, the ladder might be the way to go. That will lead you straight up and then again straight into the boss complex so you know a lot of potential entryway options um these are 
the the ones from the mines are, are potentially sneakier. Um, however, there's another sneaky entrance that if you don't know about, you really do need to know about, um, which we will sh we will show in in a second. And honestly, if you don't know the maps yet, I would highly suggest just getting into the trial modes and running around them and just exploring. Um, it's highly recommended. So here, this entrance here is the sneaky entrance, which, you know, a lot of people do know about. Um, but you're straight in. Just a little crouch underneath and you're in. Now, it's slow. That's the thing. You're crouching and you're slowed down. And if people know about it or people hear you, they're going to take advantage of the fact that you are crouched and not able to move from that position. We have this elevator that go runs underneath where the uh, generator is. And this little under underground um, or under the complex area here is a perfect area for movement. Um, if you are in a tight situation and you need to like reposition you know, switch to the other side of the complex in a really quick um, way. That's the perfect little tunnel to use. You can jump off the side of the railings, run straight under, then you completely reposition yourself really quickly, and you can, you know, circle whatever, however you need to. Okay. So there's a bunch of places around King Snake um, which are prime for long-range fights. You've got these. Um, coal storage kind of areas over over here um, which you know you the, the problem with King Snake is that there are it's quite condensed in the sense that the boss area is quite condensed and it's you're not often going to get good views on the inside of the boss area um, from, from a long way but you can get people who are you know, running around and trying to get in um, from a long way. So, because you've got this um, balcony that runs all the way around, around the outside, but a lot of people are running on it. So, you can use places like, you know, on, on these rocks here, um, you know, back here by this bridge, and this bridge leads over to uh, Stanley Cole, um, to, you know, target people who are trying to attack the... Uh, the boss, you know, remove some of the obstacles before you uh, attempt. Um, and then, yeah, so we've got, you know, these buildings down here. These are pretty good as, like, if you need cover in an emergency to fall back to, um, if, especially if you're attacking. Um, these, these, are, these are quite good places to go because you've got exits on the, out, on, on the back as well. Um, you can get on these roofs if you go around the back of these rocks. Um, Yeah, I thought you could get up there, you can't. <laughs> um, but if you run around the back of these rocks, you've got this uh, nice little natural ro uh, rock formation that allow you to get on the back of these roofs here. And again, you know, more long way ability to have some long range fights back here. They say a lot, you can see a lot of it's focusing on this big open front end of uh, King Snake. So. If you are a defender and you're inside the complex, you really want to be careful of, you know, entering or opening that door there because there's a lot of potential danger, you know, on this on this front balcony. You can see the amount of places you can sit and hide, um, you know, just with that just with that front end. So. Yeah, you will often not find many people fighting on this on this side of the complex because that is just a fact. Um, there's there's just less cover uh, on 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 both ends. So, circling around then to the northern side of the complex, we have this rock formation on our left, um, and there's these rock formations on the uh, on on the right there as well, and these are you know pretty popular. Uh, places, especially for you know snipers and things like that, um, and anyone who likes to get a bit of high ground. So this rock in particular is great because you get a great view for for two sides of the complex, um, 
and you can start to see if anyone's gonna potentially on the right hand side here run off to a um, potential um, extract or on the left hand side run away to Stanley Cole uh, across that across that bridge um, and you can see straight down you know into um, the words you can see straight across into one of the spawn areas over there we've got this one of the spawn areas um, in that direction and one in between as well so yeah a lot of a lot of options you've got a lot of options to fight and this is one of the key places and over in this direction on, along around these rocks you will find that you can have a lot of spawn fights as well which is something that does happen quite a lot at Kingsnake and um, it's a corner it's a corner um, complex which means spawn fights happen um, they happen a lot and so you have to be you know aware that that might happen and just pay attention to potential signs and potential clues that people are spawning in with you at a complex um, so moving up this way now this is these windows are at the back of where the um, upper floor is where there's no boss but there is you know entrances so these these areas are often fought over um, you will find a lot of people fighting um, from these windows and against these windows because this is a safe area um, this is basically the safe area in the boss complex where you you know if the boss is still alive the boss won't get you here so you will find a lot of people will back up into these areas um, you know if you enter the complex so this is probably where most a lot of the fighting happens as well as, as I say this this area that I mentioned earlier but just because this is where people are like you know people are trying to get up this tunnel people are trying to get into those windows um, because that's the safe area in the boss complex um, especially when the boss is alive um, you can almost predict that that's where they're going to be about 80% of the time so let's talk about look quickly at the spawn areas really important that you pay attention to where these spawn areas are because you may have team fights as I say uh, the north one and the west one will typically spawn a lot together so let's have a look at the map and you can see yeah that very north one and that very west one um, at the bottom there will typically spawn together and so if you're coming up through the gate I suggest pay paying attention to the stuff that's happening on the left and if you're coming in from the north I suggest you know checking the gate see if it's open or just paying attention and listening um, and it also often depends where the clues are as well or where, if they're going into the bounty um, yeah it's just really pay attention you know if you see crows coming up from the other side of the, that rock formation on this uh, from this spawn here you're gonna have a spawn fight and you want to be really uh, really careful so yeah um, but now with the map knowledge of this map you know you can run under the building you can go into the building you can hang back if you've got long ammo um, there, there's all sorts of uh, or, or long range sorry there's all sorts of um, options that you have with this complex um, so I suggest running around experiencing these places to you for yourself if you're not used to this complex and uh, yeah the last thing I want to share is just inside this complex in particular there is a window up here now this is a window from the upper area where the boss can't get that you can you know it's a little sneaky window that people have you know shot me from before um, you can see where we're located at the moment so if we go through the store here and then on the right hand side this window this leads into the boss complex so you may find that people will cover that window and shoot down from it or use it as a movement um, tool and uh, so running up and jumping down from there is a good way of circling around and out maneuvering someone especially if they're not expecting it um, which I have done a number of times myself so let's transition into a game and I want to share how this game has gone and how I've utilized some of these um, tips so here we go of course spawning at Kingsnake 
So you, we've got the small bounty, and I'm just checking quickly where the uh, clue is. Uh, I like to always do my stams at the beginning, so I'm just uh, sorting out. Killing the horse because I don't want to attract attention to myself just in case there is another um, spawn around. Okay, a little bit caught up with AI here. And of course, the uh, emulator had to uh, address me from there. So you'll see me, I'm checking left here. I'm more, uh, more paying attention to what's going on in this left hand northern corner and just making sure there's no obvious signs of people and of course I managed to set off crows myself which you know it happens and so yeah I see it's white so there's no there's no one around there's no one who's rushed straight into the complex uh, which allows me to enter in I don't have to be too sneaky about entering in uh, but I will set a trap um, in this uh, in this room there. I don't typically like to trap doors or obvious pathways. I like to like, kind of set them further back or places where they wouldn't necessarily expect. Um, I we didn't realise I set birds up there, and I was just checking to see if anyone else is around. There may also have been heavy rain. I'm not 100% sure. So we have the assassin. Honestly, I find the assassin a little bit annoying to fight. Um, not the most annoying to fight, but yeah. And we actually get interrupted a little bit hard by the way. So it's still, still white at the moment. I'm not too worried about trapping the entire place up um, in all honesty. I don't really like to trap too much on this solo. So you can see, you know, I run up these stairs and this is the place where you want to really go when you want to get out of the complex uh, or get, get out of the boss area. And uh, yeah, so as I said before, most people, when it goes red, when the boss is here, will probably come up into this uh, complex. And you know, yeah, I do the same. Um, it's safer. <laughs> it's, it is safer, you know, than being outside somewhat. Um, and so I, 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 because I already fell back up the stairs. Um, it was the right place for me to go and you know I'm checking down there just in case anyone walks through the uh, that entrance way on the left um, and I'm also checking you know these entrances checking the rocks up there making sure no one's coming up the rocks and also a little bit further down that way um, now of course I know there there is the entrance down the end um, that they might have approached from especially since you know, they probably came from the west or the south. Um, and then I'm not exactly sure where yet because I don't know. I can't hear them. Um, often the solos, especially in these, these lobbies, um, which are tend to be lower lobbies that I'm currently in just because I'm playing poorly. Um, a lot of people are just crouch walking and sneaking around. So it's so hard to hear them. But I know they're close, I've got them on instinct. I check the pathway down there, uh, the side pathway from, um, but I see nothing in particular. I was happy to open the door and peek out there because I had uh, done it. And, yep, there we go. And that was all reaction time in, in all honesty. But, you know, he had done the right thing in the sense that assuming people had walked up here but this is what i'm saying a lot of people will use this area and will enter in this area first more than anything i'm going to take the uppercut and i've got to, got to of course trap the body um 
But it just goes to show, you, you find a lot of people using this area a lot um, and entering in this area more than um, more than most other places. So this geese gives me the opportunity to now kill the boss, which I uh, go ahead and do. Uh, luckily, I got most of the job done and this fire I think uh, dealt with a lot of the uh, of damage. So I'm just folding up when I need to just to uh, save myself get, 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 getting any damage. A lot of people fight on these stairs. Um, it's really useful having an internal um, safe area in the boss. And I think that's where a lot of the difficulties of this complex um, come into. Like, it's for an internal safe area, you're not going to find people, you know, standing outside, running outside to uh, avoid getting hit or to heal up or anything like that because you can just walk up those stairs. Um, so it's hard for people to, you know, attack the complex from outside. It's not. There's loads of entrances, but it's also kind of hard to attack at the same time. Um, unless you are using short range weapons, shotguns, things like that, then this is your dream kind of complex. And so, yeah, obviously we're into listening mode. Um, Now I prefer to trap like that rather than trap the top of the ramp because people can see the trap from the top of the, from the bottom of the ramp. And so there's people close again, so we've got new people. So I'm just sneaking around, hopping around, trying to be as quiet as I can. hear them walking along this walkway which is why I uh yeah which is why I decide <laughs> this is hit and watch that entrance like he started walking along and I was like yep no I know exactly what you're about to do <laughs> mm -hmm, sure walking through this little hidden cubby hole you know it's the silent way in um, it is probably the most silent way in as well. You know, you're not just opening up a door or anything like that. And so there was still someone around, which is why I uh, opened this window. Just to, just to take a peek. And yeah, someone over at those coal, coal bits. It's hard to play a long range, but if you're going to stand at the windows, you're going to get shot. <laughs> That is the that is kind of the rule here. Um, so yeah, they were the, they were there, and in all honesty, um, I wasn't going to peek again, but I decided to uh, recover this um, this sneaky entrance. Mo all the other entrances, more or less, I can hear if they're gonna, if they're entering, apart from under the mine. Um, they can easily sneak in under the mine, but as I say, I have not seen many people use it, and so I decide that that is pro this corner is probably most likely my biggest risk. But I hear them run around, and I hear them run around, which is why I'm now covering this door here. And I'm actually, you know, not holding. I'm holding an angle behind this um, sort of engine and metal here, just because it's. Uh, a little bit safer. Uh, don't go for the bounty straight away. 
I wait. I give it a second. I allow them a chance to run in. And so I'm using the bounty a little bit as bait here. Uh, I knew that was my moment, just to, to run and get it. And so yeah, you can see me, I'm, I'm running out, I'm, I'm actually using now the map to model I figure that it's best to fall back. I'm now moving into this tunnel, which is the opposite side of the complex. They've got to go through the entire complex. Um, of course, they are now with the uh, with the bounty, and yeah, look, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I knew it was there. I tried to jump over it, but I was at a low angle. I, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so they decide to say, yeah, thank you and good luck, and I was like, mm, uh, I kind of want to fight. And so, yeah, this kind of ends this little portion with this map in particular. Um, there are plenty of ways, sneaky little ways out. Um, let's say, down the, down the back here of these um, barns, there's there's a couple of in exits, exits. There's, uh, yeah, multiple little, little, little ways out and sneaky ways out. But I decide to... Um, I'm going to want to power level with them for a bit and see if I can get a shot. And it actually was just the one person. Um, I, I thought it was two for a little while, but... There's plenty of cover as well leaving this, um, leaving this complex in particular. It's... Um, it's a weird complex just because of how high it is on uh, in elevation compared to the rest of the map. Um, it is, it's got a lot of high ground. As you saw when you know, you're st standing on the rock earlier on and looking over, um, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's an odd complex um, here in the south, but it's uh, fun. So I'm going to let the rest of this game play out. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this, if this was helpful for you. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if there are any specific complexes you want to have a video like this on. Um, I'm very much just trying to grab good games uh, that I have at specific complexes and I'll do a video on it when when I get the game footage, um, because that's at the end of the day the hardest, hardest part. Um, but yeah, let me know, and uh, until next time, enjoy the rest of the game, and may your hunts be bountiful. Just as a uh, little side note here, um, I realised that he had wasted most of his clip on the tail pistol. He had two shots left and I figured it's totally worth the risk um, getting up in front of him because he's just wasted so many bullets on his chain pistol and it takes so long to reload that thing. Net growing up is totally worth the attempt and yeah it paid off.